Canadian Raptor Review. 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor. It's 34 degrees here. That's about uh, 95 for our American friends. And this is my 2021 Ford Raptor, which I will tell you briefly what I love about it and the very few things I don't love about it. This truck, it's pretty awesome. Super pumped to have it. Love driving it. It's rad. I've had this truck for about 10,000 kilometers now. I uh, picked it up last winter. It is amazing in the winter. I have no complaints about it. Uh, the only thing I've done to it aftermarket is tinted the windows. I got some 20 inch fuel rims with 35 inch uh, Nido tires. She's fast. She's reasonably good on fuel. Wow. Cost me about 250 bucks Canadian to fill it and it lasts about 500 kilometers. She's got tons of power. Easy to do a burnout as I've shown you in this video already. Um, it's lots of fun to drive. It gets a lot of looks. Downfalls, the only thing I've had to go wrong with this, there was a transmission recall. Um, so if you hammered it and let go of the gas, it would automatically go to neutral. And then if you pulled over, it automatically put itself in park. You have to turn it off to get it going again. Uh, but now that they've fixed the recall, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, I couldn't be happier. It's a wonderful, wonderful vehicle. This truck is about an $86,000 truck with all the options this one has. It comes in for just under $104,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, and this one is in the lead foot gray, which is kind of like a matte kind of destroyer gray color. I took these rims and tires off my generation two Raptor. Uh, they're fuel 20 inch rims, 35 inch tires by 12 and a half. Uh, so I generally use these as my summer ones. And then in the winter time, I use the stock tires with uh, studded winters uh, for our uh, great Canadian winters. Uh, this thing is amazing in the snow. Absolutely amazing. Super cool truck. Super well built. Love it. Ford did a really good job on the interior. You got a lot of nice textures here. A um, little bit of like gold stitching. This one's got the carbon fiber package on it. Uh, all your power options. Door stuff, Bang & Olufsen cereal. This Ford Performance thing is kind of sweet. Uh, they got these little orange accents on either side of the truck, as well as this orange accent on the steering wheel. Um, I don't know, Ford knocks it out of the park, I think, in the interior. They do a really nice job. The seats have a lot of nice contrast uh, between the leather and the Salcantara kind of look. She also has all the creature comforts you could need. It's got the 360 cameras, the backup camera. It's got a front camera. It's got this handy workstation here. Push this, your gear shift goes down. And you grab the back and we'll uh, place to work. Computers, writing stuff, whatever. You got this nice little storage area here for your charging your cell phone, USB and whatnot. It's also got this little handy thing to store your phone, but honestly it doesn't work all that well. Nice little carbon fiber finish here. Heated steering wheel, heated seats, air conditioned seats, all your little four wheel drive options, trailer modes, all that kind of stuff. It's got the dual moon roofs up here. Super cool. Lots of uh, sunlight and stuff. And then you got all your controls. Uh, heating, cooling, heated seats, heating steering wheel, air conditioned seats, and all the other stuff you generally expect in uh, a truck like this. Up top you got these handy little switches. So if you're adding anything, auxiliary winches or lights or whatever, it's already pre-done for it. And for those of you that are interested in doing a burnout in a Raptor, there's this traction control off button. If you hold it for 30 seconds, I believe, um, it does disengage something else on the dashboard. I'm not sure what, but that makes it like off more than it would normally be off. So if you really want to let her go, that's how you do it. Um, I don't know, this has something to do with something off-road. Couldn't tell you what. I don't know what that is either. That's your camera. Yeah, it's got a lot of buttons. Another cool button is the suspension mode. It'll change it from uh, regular mode to sport to off-road. So one of my kids gets car sick all the time. So if I change to sport mode, he doesn't get sick at all. Uh, I've actually never used it for off-road. So normally it's a normal, but it's a cool, uh, cool little feature. My favorite feature on this truck is this button right here. This uh, changes your exhaust tone. So right now it's in normal, or it's in quiet. Nobody ever uses quiet. That's that's a stupid option, but there's normal, which is normal, sport, which is a little bit louder, and then there's Baja, which I use all the time. It says you're supposed to use it off road use only, obviously, but uh, I don't. Probably sound better outside the truck, but it's wicked. 
this one does have the generator thing i think they call it i'm not sure but anyway you can hook a like a skill saw up to that thing and you can run a skill saw off it uh, which is cool honestly i've never used it this is probably the thing i love most about fords you can lock them by just holding these buttons and leave your keys right inside so you never ever lose them and to get in you just put in your super secret code and voila never lose your keys again never have to wonder where they are it's perfect i love it that's not my actual code by the way so that's my quick review of my 2021 ford raptor um, in summary beautiful truck well designed beautifully built aesthetically performance is amazing suspension is insane uh, i couldn't be happier i've actually ordered a new one uh, with the 37 inch package so uh looking forward to that uh i absolutely recommend a raptor um yeah, that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to get another one out there for you soon. Thank you.